Hello everybody, let's solve 40 questions from Kolar model paper 5. Start my now. The first question says a pair of linear equations. What are they? Are they consistent, inconsistent, dependent, none of the above? Now we need to look at this pair of linear equations. And what you can say by looking at the pair of linear equations is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 because 1 by 2 is equal to 2 by 4 but c1 by c2 is not equal, right? So therefore we have this condition. E condition true adrinda, we can say that it is a parallel line. These are parallel lines. Now parallel lines are inconsistent pair. Parallel lines itre, no solution. Therefore we say they are inconsistent. The correct answer in this case is inconsistent. All right, second question is about pair of linear equations, if the lines intersect each other, then what happens? So if the pair of line equations, I mean, if the lines intersect each other, that means they have exactly one solution. If they're on top of each other, then they have many solutions. If they are intersecting with each other, they have just one solution. So Murne question, the solution to the problem. I mean, you can try different options, Murne question, or you can just solve it like how I've solved here. If you solve, you'll get that x equals 3 and y equals 1. Solve Mardare, x equals 3, y equals 1, Bharata. All right, now let me question, find the value of k and the kdare if they are inconsistent. Now, Hindi heard inconsistent and they are parallel. They are parallel and what will be true? Since they are inconsistent, they are parallel, which means this is going to be true. Now, here I have taken a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2. If you simplify this, you can show that k equals 6. The correct answer is k equals 6. All right, a bunch of arithmetic progression questions. Let's do them. The first one is arithmetic mean questions. If 2x26 are in arithmetic progression, then the value of x. is an arithmetic mean quantity. Mean andre, you add 2 plus 26 and you divide them by 2. Avaga nimge. So in this case, it is 14. Next question is about common difference. Now, what's a common difference? 3 becomes 1, which means it reduces by 2. Therefore, the common difference is minus 2. Now, seventh question is you have to find the third term. So 5n plus 3, so which means you have to substitute n with 3. So that will become 15 plus 3, which is 18. Sum of 10 natural numbers, first 10 natural numbers, either n multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 2 formula, use Marbodo. You can also solve using Sn formula, but I suggest you use n multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 2, and that would be sometimes we write it as sigma 10, which is 10 times 11 by 2, which is 55. Correct answer is C. All right. Sum of odd numbers up to 10 terms. Odd number formula is n square. Sum of n, first n odd numbers is n square formula. n square formula, Andre, it is 10 square, which is 100. Now, 10th to 12th question are trigonometry questions. So, let's see. You may have seen these questions before. The very standard question, okay? The first question is about 9 secant square minus 9 tan square. Now, that can be written as 9 secant square if you just take 9 as common, secant square minus tan square. Secant square equals 1 plus tan square, which means secant square minus tan square becomes 1. Therefore, it is 9. You know, identity use Martha So, therefore, it is 1. So, 9 multiplied by 1 is 9. So, okay, 9. So, the next one is 1. Why? Because sine 30 is half and cos 60 is also half. Half plus half is 1. The next one is 1, again, because in the complementary angle formula, sine 18 is equal to cos 72, because sine 90 minus 18 is cos 72. Thirteenth question. Thirteenth question is uh, application of trigonometry question. What is the question? So this angle here is 60 degree. The distance is 15 meter. We are supposed to find height AB. So it's a tan theta kind of question. So what do you do? You say tan C equals AB, which is opposite side by adjacent side, which is BC. 
we know BC is 15. If you simplify, you get 15 root 3. Remember, tan 60 is root 3. Now the 14th question and 15th question are um, quadratic equation question. The nature of the roots depend on discriminant and discriminant is b square minus 4ac. What's the value of the discriminant? 15th question. It's b square minus 4ac. So b is in this case 3. So 3 square. 4ac is 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by minus 5 which becomes 20. 20 plus 3 square is 29. Okay, 16th question. The sum of squares of two consecutive odd numbers. Two consecutive odd numbers and x and x plus 2 are So, sum of squares and x square plus x plus 2 whole square and that is equal to 219 the KDR. So, therefore, we have to write it like this x square plus x plus 2 whole square equals 219. The 17th one, they've given one of the roots is uh, 2 by 3. What is the other root? So we'll take the question and write it down like this. 3x minus 2, 2x plus 1 equals 0, which means 3x minus 2 is 0, which means x equals 2 by 3, but that root has already been given. The other option is 2x plus 1 equals 0, which means x equals minus 1 by 2. 1 on the right hand side, the minus agathe, 2 divided by three, minus 1 by 2. Barathe. So the correct answer is C. Midpoint. Question, so coordinate geometry question. So midpoint is you have to add the x coordinate and you have to add the y coordinates and divide by 2. Other than that, you 3, 4 answer. Next, we have the distance from origin question. Distance from origin is square root of x square plus y square, which means it is square root of 6 square plus 8 square, which is 10. So correct answer is C. 20th question is a similar triangle question. Corresponding sides are 4 is to 9. That means area will be square of it, which means 4 square is to 9 square, which is 16 is to 81. What is the distance between a point 4, point 4 3 and the y axis? Y axis ku 4, 3 ku yen difference. And the distance will always be x coordinate, and that is given by 4 units in this case. 22nd similar triangle question. What they have said is DE is perpendicular to BC, which means basic proportionality says that AD divided by AD divided by BD is equal to AE by EC. If you solve this, you will get 4.2. Why 4.2? See, this is 2.4. Double is 4.8. This is 2.1. Double will be 4.2. Correct answer is C. 23rd question, which of the following statement is always not true? All circles are similar. Yes, similar and re, kaanate, adhe shi, adhe shape adhe size All squares are similar. Yes, all squares are also similar. All equilateral triangles are similar. Yes, they are also similar because internal angles are the same and they look the same. All rectangulars are not similar. Okay. Rectangle similar agirala. Square, equilateral triangle and circles are similar. All right, Illi, they've asked us to find the ratio of the small triangle to actually big triangle to small triangle. And they've told that D and E are midpoints. So, Hegmatira disproportional to the ratio of the sides. Now, what do we know? The ratio of the sides in the AB square by EB square in the tondre. So, this AB square by EB square in the tondre, that is 2 by 1 because E is at the midpoint. So therefore, that will be 4, which means the ratio is 4 is to 1. Next, edge of the cube is 5 cm. That means a cube side is 5 cm. What is the total surface area? So cube, total surface area formula, 6a square. a is 5, which means 6 times 25 is 150 cm square. 26th question is a formula question. First term of a cone in formula, the formula. C is the correct answer. 
And uh, 27th question is, again, simple formula substitution question. So what is the total surface area of um, solid hemisphere? It is 3 pi r square. And then substitute matter, you get 462 centimeter square. 28th question is, again, a simple formula substitution. They've given you base area of right circular triangles, a cylinder, and you multiply that with height. So, volume. So, you have to multiply the base area with height. In this case, if you do that, you get 231 centimeter cube. A is the answer. 29th question, they've given you surface area, but you have to find radius. So, it's ulta madbeko. So, surface area, we know the formula 4 pi r square. If you equate 4 pi r square to 154 and simplify, you get 3.5 centimeter as the value of r. d is the answer. Thirtieth question, if a side of a square is 12 centimeter, then length of the diagonal is. So square andre, Pythagoras theorem use marvodu, 12, 12 lagirate. So 12 square plus 12 square is equal to a diagonal square, which means square root of andre, 12 root 2 birth. Okay, thirty-first question, it's a right angle triangle ABC. AB is 3 centimeter, BC is 4 centimeter. What will be AC? So, this is a standard right angle triangle. Pythagoras theorem is madre. Hypotenuse will be 3 square plus 4 square, which means it is 5 centimeter. Midpoint of class interval andre 12.5. 10 plus 15 divided by 2. Median of the scores andre, it is middle term. But in this case, there are two middle terms, which means we have to take average. Average of 14 and 16 is 15. Empirical relationship between three measure of tendencies, a standard question. The correct answer is A. 35th question. The number of tangents that can be drawn from a given circle from an external point. Each tangent draw manakate, external point in the yard, maximum yard. 36th question is a very interesting question, okay? The question says, there are four tangents or three tangents. AB is one tangent. AC is one tangent from this point A. Similarly, this PQ is a tangent. That means it touches at one point R. They've asked us to find the perimeter of APQ. APQ perimeter kandidiwe koon thayariyar. Hey kandidiwe do. Now what is perimeter of APQ? Perimeter of APQ is AP, this side, PQ, this side, and AQ, all three sides. Now this PQ can be split into PR plus RQ. Because it can be split into two parts. Now the PR is equal to PB. Why? Because they are tangents from this point P. So that means PR is equal to PB. Similarly, RQ is similar to QC. Why? Because they are tangents from this point Q. So AB is equal to AC because that is tangent from these two sides, this point to uh, the circle. BP equals PR, that means this side is equal to this. RQ is equal to RC. So these two are equal. So then use Markondo, we can start doing some substitution. So PQ, we can set, split as PR and RQ. PR, we can split, we can substitute PB. That means this term becomes AP plus PB, which is AB. This term becomes AQ plus QR, which is AQ plus QC, which becomes AC. So AB plus AC are the perimeter. But since AB equals AC, we can write it as 2 times AB, which means it is 14 centimeter is the answer. An interesting question. The correct answer is 14 centimeter. 37th question. They have given this angle 120 degree. They have asked you to find this angle and it's 60 degree because angle between the radius and angle between the tangents uh, add up to 180. The distance between two parallel tangents is diameter. 
that is 3.5 times 2 which is 7 centimeter okay last two questions so they were given this angle is 30 degree they've given this we know that this angle is 90 degree because tangent is perpendicular to radius what is this angle now we know that internal angles of the triangle add up to 180 degree muru angle had made 180 degree sigutte which means o is 60 degree so this will be 60 what about the 40th one which one is a pythagorean triplet okay the pythagorean triplet is 3 4 5 okay 3 square plus 4 square equals 5 square that is pythagorean triplet so we have fifth paper only 40 questions in the hopefully you found this useful see you soon with the final paper till then bye